Hello everyone. Welcome to our bi-weekly QTV community meeting. Uh, in this meeting, we are going to discuss about our progress. Um, so, so far we have fixed a couple of uh, issues uh, since our last uh, community meeting. Uh, though the number of issues is very low, but we had to spend lots of time on uh, testing and fixing those. Uh, on uh, one of them is very critical, which is OSM, our binary tool, who uh, we used, which one we used to um, pull and push uh, files into cloud providers in from database tools. Uh, it was only pulling 50 items for uh, 50 items for each uh, each uh, snapshot. So it was a big problem, but uh, fortunately we didn't. Um, uh, we didn't face it for fortunately means users didn't face it so far uh, so we uh, fix this bug in this uh, in PR uh, it, it will be merged in in a couple of days uh, hopefully tomorrow or after day after that uh, yeah, we after that we'll be able to the, or the, the issue of OSM will be solved uh, I hope there was another problem with snapshot, uh, which is uh, when the uh, when the access of bucket when the bucket access was denied and the snapshots was not uh, say it was not failed. Though the snapshot was actually failed, but the, the, the status was not updated. So uh, we fixed that uh, we fixed that issue. Uh, meanwhile, we also refactored the snapshot status updates and event rights. If you see the PR, you, you can see uh, uh, we handle every error. If it is retriable, only then we retry it. Otherwise, we make it fail. Not fail, but we make it, we don't process it that, and that, at that time. And we mark the uh, snapshot failed when it fails any uh, check bucket access error or other error that is non retriable. So, uh, user won't be confused oh. so and our next issue is was uh, redis export it was not actually redis related uh, and this user had his redis configured and uh, auth enabled so he was not able to see multiple matrix uh, because of auth problem um, but uh, after figuring out the actual problem, we added another uh, uh, another field in. Give me a minute. Okay. Uh, after figuring that out, we have added some fields in monitoring uh, spec. So from now on, user will be able to provide custom arguments or environments or security context for monitoring uh, containers. And those uh, those fields will be forwarded to the deployment or uh, CRD uh, deployments. And so so uh, if a user needs to fix any problem from the other side, they will they can provide it for, through arguments or environment and that will solve the external problem for this case uh, if the user has to provide this uh, spec source uh, where the uh, i'm talking about this he is have to provide this arguments and environment and that will solve the problem for redis uh, or if it, the redis is now a auth is enabled so it is <laughs> it works so that's the issue we work so far. And the uh, ongoing task, uh, we are uh, currently, we use multiple event writer, uh, which we are going to convert it into one global variable. Uh, and it will uh, fix some memory leaks from the QTV operator. And we have also trying to uh, update the, the database versions in new. Uh, persons which is available 
I hope we help the urgent point one and postgres persons and other persons will be updated, updated, updated uh, in very little time. But uh, we have to work in Elasticsearch because uh, the repo we follow to uh, update the Elasticsearch is currently archived uh, from the uh, web developer side. So um, we have to rebuild it ourselves. Um, so in a cross there. And we are also working on MongoDB SSL support. Uh, it is actually a topic to research and take making decision how to add in CRDs and how to do it. So we have to give a couple of time in research first. After that, uh, hopefully we will be able to add uh, SSL support in replica sets and after that uh, sharding too. Um, so uh, after before moving to sharding, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do, do it in the ASL way, um, so we don't have to do it again after we, uh, implementing the sharding. So that's the uh, uh, ongoing task and <coughs> issue fixed. Uh, show since last, last uh, TB meeting, uh, we are planning to. This is a this is our 0 0.9.0 uh, in the in next Monday. Uh, uh, if we, meanwhile we uh, if user report uh, reports any issues, we will fix those in, in the next patch, not in 9.0. So um, because it's uh, taking so much time in fixing those issues that our main release is not uh, going going to happen. In the main, it's going to happen. So let's see. Uh, there's uh, so far. Um, if anyone has any question, please go ahead. Thank you. Okay. So this is the end of our community committee meeting. Uh, thanks for joining with us.